The future of the Spider-Verse looks to be very bright indeed, as a brand new report in regards to Tom Holland's version of Spider-Man has hit the net and it's being backed by a lot of insiders. And this is the news that Tom Holland will be returning as Spider-Man in the upcoming sequel to Spider-Verse, aka Across the Spider-Verse. So despite all the leaks we've seen in regards to Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse, there's still a lot that we're kind of in the dark with. And as we saw with Spider-Man No Way Home, a lot of the toys that are going to be even bigger spoilers are being kept, um, well, they're not going to be revealed or produced till after the film. So of course the first wave already hit, we know the villain of the film, we know some of the many characters that will be appearing, such as Spider-Punk for example, but some of the other characters are obviously still very much hidden. And we know that they teased over 200 Spider-Man appearing. So again, there's a lot. A recent report that started to make its way online, and again, a lot of people are saying this is in fact true, due to the delays, production, and them going back to fix up some elements of the film and tie it better into the third film, that it's official. Tom Holland's Spider-Man, the version from the MCU, the same exact version will be appearing in Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Now, we don't know how long. Some people have said it's going to be a quick cameo. Some people have said it's going to be a scene. Others are saying, and this is what I personally heard, is that it's more towards the end to set up the next chapter for Spider-Man, which is the third Spider-Verse film and what happens next. So again, there's a lot out there, but most of us... It seems like that we talk to people and have, um, you know, heard things are rather um, all kind of agreeing that, yeah, he's in this somehow. We just don't know how exactly. And again, there's the chance that originally they could have shot something and then they went back and changed it. So the narrative has changed because we know that the development of the film changed when they decided to make the third one beyond the Spider-Verse. So again, this could tie all into that. But it's going to be interesting to see what exactly they do here and how they're going to play with this and what exactly he says and does. But either way, though, um, I'm super excited. More Spider-Man, more live action Spider-Man. It feels like it's been too long. I know it's crazy to say that considering it's only been less than a year since the big Spider-Man film that we had that, you know, um, made two billion dollars at the box office. But there's so much content coming at us, I feel like we need more Spider-Man. And there's a drought of cartoons, certainly. You know, the video game, that's already out on PC. But again, it's not filling that void. So next year, hopefully we find out what happens next. And maybe this is why they're holding off making any sort of announcement in regards to his MCU return. Maybe they'll tie this in. I mean, who knows? But either way, I'm excited to see what happens. <laughs>